everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Renata and this is Running In Style. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my July pattern pairing as well as some fabrics that I have and a few other sewing items that I acquired over the last few weeks. So the first thing I wanted to let you guys know, this top that I'm wearing is McCall's 7389 UD, which is here. And I can do a quick little spin for you guys and then we can start with what I want to sew for the month of July. Okay, so the very first thing that I want to attempt to try this month is, eventually I'll get to it, I really would like to make simplicity, and it has 0465. I'm not sure if I will be making the blouse or the dress. But because it's still summer and we're getting into the month of August and I'm excited to just have fun and feel free, I picked up this crepe fabric and I shared it in my, I think my May fabric haul video. So I'm going to use this fabric. So watch out for that project. The next item that I will be attempting and hopefully I can complete is... McCall's MP223. This is another one that I shared. There we, there we go. This is another one that I shared in one of my previous fabric pattern haul. But this is the fabric that I will use. It is a linen blend. I'm not 100% sure. I've had this in my stash for about eight months, so I can't remember the content of the fabric, but I did purchase it at Joann's. The next fabric I have here is a chambray, and I will be making a dress. I would like to recreate the the 4th of July dress with this fabric. I'm not 100% sure how much fabric I have. I may just have to create the top and then add a gathered skirt to it instead of the box pleat because that tends to take up a lot of material. And I'm pretty sure that this is two and a half yards of fabric, so I might have to make a pretty short skirt if I wanted to have the box pleat. But those are the three projects that I'm pretty sure I will be completing for the month of July. There is one more project that I'm going to try to get to. Not sure if I'll be able to do that, but it is. And I know that last month her pattern almost killed me, but I picked up another Nicole Finetti pattern and I really like the way this skirt looks it is so cool I just don't know <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because I just about died last time I sewed one of her project but I love how the structure holds up so I'm thinking it would look really good in a denim so I'm looking for some sort of midweek denim I don't have any fabric yet for this pattern but I really want to try to get it completed this month. So I'll be probably shopping on Saturday and sewing on Saturday. So those are the projects that I have um, in mind for the month of July. And now I'm going to share with you some other items that I picked up during the month of June. So because Hancock is closing, I had to go and get some patterns. Not like I need patterns, but sometimes you just can't really help yourself, so I did. Anyways, I picked up Quick Sew, and I picked up quite a few Quick Sew. I think I only picked up Quick Sew, just because I don't have any of their patterns. And because of Rosa from Sewn, I went ahead and I picked this one up because I am going to attempt to recreate her project, which was so fabulous. I loved it. I loved how she added the 
if, I believe it was elastic, she added elastic. It just looks so cool. I would like to make one like that. And I think it will look really good. I'm not sure what fabric I will use, but look out for this in the fall. The next pattern I picked up was the K4181, which is a um, active wear piece. Pull this closer so you guys can get a better look. I like the shorts and I also like the tops as well. And for me, I run a lot, so these will come in handy. I just need to get sewing them during the month of August, but I run a lot during the fall as well, so they'll get good use for me once I make them. The other one I, I found and I thought was really cute was this really sweet pajama. Isn't it cute? I love how the lace is there, and the blue one has a racer back which is really cool. I don't know, can, can you guys see that? There, so this is a race the back. Really cool, I love that feature. And the thing is, you don't only have to make this to go sleep, you can, this is lingerie, which is super cool. You could actually run out to the grocery in something like this. And there's a fly in my video. Oh my gosh. So I am armed with a fly swatter because every time I sit down to record, the fly keeps buzzing around. <sighs> okay, where were we? I can't remember. Um, I think I was talking about Quixo 4072. And I was saying how cool the racer back was and the fact that you can also create the top as a lingerie and you can leave your house and go pick up some stuff, run some errands and you'll still look pretty cool put together. And it seems pretty simple. The cami isn't really, doesn't really take a lot of energy to do so this is a really nice quick piece and also it is perfect for Christmas. Did I say the C word? It is perfect for the holiday season as a gift giving present. Handmade presents are always awesome for people that like to sew. And something like this, which um, goes by extra small, small, medium, extra large, you won't have any problems with sizing for anyone. So it's a good deal. Let's see. Oh! Somebody told me that I can make a swimsuit, so I picked up pattern 3608. I like this design because it's really sexy, but it's also pretty modest. To me, I feel like it's really modest, doesn't show off a lot, but it really has this sexy appeal to it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to attempt that. Not sure if it will happen this year, our year, our summer is really packed and packed with a lot of activities that don't include water. So I may have to utilize this come next year. The other project, <laughs> which Renata thinks she can tackle in the future, are these. The ginger jeans. They look awesome. I've read many reviews, I've went to their page and everywhere I see images for this jeans and it has tons of positive feedback and rating. So I'm very excited to try this pattern for my first jeans. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. I'm extremely nervous and scared, but the whole point of sewing is to actually try. And if you make a mistake, then you can always use your trusty hem ripper and you get to create something that no one else has. And I can't wait to try this first one, get a feel for it, get a feel for actually making jeans and being successful. The crotch is always scary. I have not made a pants in, I don't think I've ever made a pants unless it was 
drawstring or elastic waist so this is definitely a challenge and hopefully I will be successful and you guys will get to see that so keep your eyes out for that one the last thing that I wanted to share with you was my newest sewing book to add to my collection and I could show you my sewing book collection I have a few, not as much as some people, but I think I'm going to be adding a lot. I picked up the Great British Sewing Bee from Stitch to Style book, and I've only read the first uh, chapter, and it's very informative. I really like how it's laid out. Um, the reason I purchased this book was I saw mm, Miss Lisa Comfort, <laughs> Mrs. Lisa Comfort on her vlog talk about the palazzo and how the instructions were and how excited she was about it and two minutes after I saw that video I purchased, purchased this book and four days later I got it from Amazon Prime so I've had this book for a while I just haven't had the time to share it but one thing I really really like about this book and I have purchased quite a few um, sewing books that have patterns with them the patterns come in their own individual sleeve, which I think is like the smartest thing on earth because all the other ones, they come in the book and they're like right here, stuck to the back or to the front. And then when you take it apart and you want to store it, it just slides out and you, it's just it's just really awkward if you have to place it on a shelf. So I really like how this is in a sleeve and it can slide and stack really nice on my shelf. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I have one project in here that I will make. I'm not going to probably get to it in the month of July, but I will definitely get to it in the month of August. And let me show you. Dress. That's me. I love it. I love it. It is such a sweet peplum it's so pretty I love the neckline it is a little wide but not as wide as a boat neck and it hugs you really nice so I'm pretty excited to try this dress so this is one that I will put on my August to-do list and that's it those are my plans for the month of July and those are the items that I have acquired during the month of June. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like what you see, don't forget to click the subscribe button and follow Running In Style on Instagram and Twitter. I do have a Facebook page so you can check that out. Um, yeah, that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.